Hi everyone, James G Zero SEC in the shack, and uh, thought I'd do a new shack video. It's been a while since I've done one, and I've uh, got a few little additions to the shack. So I uh, thought, uh, for the benefit of those that have never seen my shack before, I thought I'd do another video. Had some uh, time to kill, and uh, so uh, without any further ado, let's uh, let's get on with a little sort of shack tour uh, and uh, show you sort of uh, the new equipment that I've uh, brought lately. It's only the small stuff, but uh, I thought I'd just share it. The uh, the main radio in the shack is the uh, 7800, and uh, really love the uh, the 7800. Beautiful bit of kit. And uh, let me just uh, quickly show you. I think uh, someone from Australia on here. Let me. Uh, yeah, he's definitely. Uh, Got an Australian accent. And, uh, I think he's in Perth, Australia. Let me just. Uh, yeah. Let me just uh, Just uh, bring it up here. I think he's uh, Victor Kilo 6 Charlie Lima. We've got the monitor up there. Let me just uh, show you on the monitor. Yeah, in Perth, Australia. On the, And if you look at the time, let me just show you the time. The time is 4.30 nearly in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah, let me just... Uh, okay, let's turn that down. Let's carry on with the tour. Easy to get sidetracked. <laughs> I've spoken to Australia a few times in, uh, in 26 years of being licensed. Okay, so the, the main radio is the uh, the ICOM 7800. I absolutely love this uh, piece of kit. The, uh, the filtering is uh, just second to none. And uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful to operate on this radio. Really is uh, a lovely bit of kit, and I just love the way the filter system works. And uh, truly is the best radio I've uh, I've owned so far. And uh, I don't think I'll be uh, getting rid of my 7800 anytime soon. I don't think it will ever leave my shack. But uh, the other uh, new bit of equipment I've got. Is uh, I fancied getting that myself a 950, so um, got the 950 uh, next door to it, and uh, mainly I use the 950 for uh, checking uh, audio and stuff and setting up my uh, audio equipment for uh, the 7800. But now and again, it's nice to switch the antennas across and so forth, and the and the mic, so I can uh, have a bit of a, a play with the 950 as well, and uh, seems to be bang on frequency. Uh, like the um, the, uh, the 7800, which is good. The uh, other bit of equipment I've got is the uh, the mixer. Let me just show you the audio rack first. The um, oh my keyboard down here. The keyboard is um, a back uh, illuminated keyboard. Let me just uh, change it across to the uh, the radio. Now it's on the radio mm -hmm. and. Um, and if I hit that switch here, it actually goes back to the PC. So uh, you'll see it comes back on. Yeah, and that's illuminated. Let me just uh, turn the light down a bit. I uh, hopefully can show you uh, what uh, the keyboard is like. If you can see it there. But, uh, it's only really handy uh, in the dark. <laughs> but, uh, I thought I'd show you uh, all the same. Me, uh, just quickly uh, okay the light is okay yeah okay so um, my audio equipment I'll show you that the uh, the microphone is a Heil PR781 on the Heil boom which is connected uh, to the back of the uh, just behind the monitors really and uh, from the microphone the audio goes to the uh, the deck um, to uh, 2200 uh, from the uh, 2200 it goes to this uh, 
unit here which is a DEC 2496 which is a digital master um, processing unit and uh, really all my audio is uh, set up in here for the different radios that I use and I can switch them across and uh, so forth. I think I've got something like uh, 26 different um, audio profiles set in the uh, in the deck. You can't really see the display in uh, I don't know if you can uh, see the display or not. Let me just uh, try and show you. No, it's uh, not really uh, it's the camera. It doesn't really like the display. Let's uh, see if I get it a bit closer. I think you can see the display there. Yep. So it's not not that bright in real life, but the, the camera tends to pick up all the light, so it doesn't really uh, doesn't really like it. But, um, from the microphone, the uh, seventy eight uh, sorry seven eight one PR seven eight one by Heil, which is really made for the uh, seventy eight hundred and the seventy seven hundred, and now the seventy six hundred. And uh, got the the microphone goes to uh, the mic twenty two hundred goes to the deck two four nine six, and then. Um, from the deck it goes to this uh, bit of equipment here which I use as a noise gate and uh, not that I got a noisy uh, shack because it's not very noisy in here even with the computers running and everything there's no noise at all very whisper quiet uh, in the shack here and from uh, from the noise gate it goes to uh, the mixer I really do like this mixer it's uh, a Behringer Zenix um, 1622 FX and uh, with USB and um, the reason I like this mixer is uh, because it's got uh, uh, 16 channels which is great I use it for everything I use it for the, all the radios in the shack all the uh, the, the PC um, the mini disc recording unit that uh, I'll show you in a minute and uh, but the reason I really like this mixer is it's got uh, two outputs one is uh, the sub output and one is the uh, the main output I usually have all the microphones uh, plugged into the main output. At the moment, I'm just using one microphone because it's uh, one mic, and I switch it between all radios. And all the uh, RX audio from the computers and uh, um, all radios, the the computer and the mini disc recorder, goes um, to the sub output. And uh, what I like about it as well, you've got a solo button. You can just click in, and everything else goes uh, quiet, and you'll only hear this one channel. Or if I take the solo out, I can have it going to the sub, or I can have it going to the main, so the main output. So uh, it's pretty good for recording purposes and so forth. I'd uh, seriously be lost without the mixer these days. And like I say, I use it also for setting up and getting the right levels for the Skype and uh, Echo Link and uh, such like. So uh, it's very, very useful to have a mixer in your shack. And uh, the other uh, bit of equipment I got down the far end is. Uh, this here, if you can see it, uh, wondering what it was, is a, a, a thousand watt dummy load, which I use for both radios with the, a switch that I can switch in. And uh, this is the, uh, the rotator I use. It's uh, a Yaesu uh, G1000DXC. I really do like that rotor. It's nice to have the, uh, the speed control and the presets. And it's great for uh, turning the antenna around pretty quick uh, if you've got that uh, rare bit of DX you want to um, give a call to. The far end up here, excuse the mess, and the shack's a tiny little bit messy at the moment. I've been doing some uh, things in the shack here, and uh, things lying around in boxes and so forth, and cables. And But um, over here in the far end is uh, an antenna switch, can't, just like that, by Ameritron. And that uh, switches the uh, to outside, I've got uh, six antennas. So uh, one of them is the, uh, the beam on the tower. Uh, two of them is the beam on the tower, actually. And so I can switch the uh, the antennas across. Uh, here is just a, a simple switch mode power supply, about 30 amp, which uh, runs the uh, little uh, Icom 2820 that I'll show you in a minute. And um, let me just show you this piece of equipment. This is uh, a genius bit of equipment by W2HY. It's called I Plus. If you've never seen it before, basically what you can do, you can uh, switch between three radios. I've actually got it on the 7800, I can switch it across to the 950, or I can switch it across to, uh, it says 847 there, but I will change that soon, because it's going to be my new little radio, which is the uh, Icon 2820, and I mainly use that for uh, uh, dual band uh, 2 meters and 70 cms, 
and I also use it for the D-Star network which is great fantastic but um, really like this piece of equipment by the uh, by W2HY called I plus what this does is it takes your audio if you're using audio rack equipment and it takes it uh, from line level and matches it to uh, mic level and uh, you've got three different uh, pots here and you can get the levels right for each radio and then just switch it across so uh, you know I really do like uh, that bit of equipment and uh, it really does totally eliminate because it acts as an isolator totally uh, you know eliminates any ground loops or any hassles you might get with RF and so forth in the shack so um, but uh, this is the uh, the shack here the main two radios for HF and uh, there's a radio here which I like for uh, 2 and 70 and uh, this here meter is uh, my RF power monitor it's not on at the moment but uh, fantastic meter very hard to get extremely rare in fact I've only ever seen two for sale in 20 in about 20 years so um, and that's the two that I've actually owned <laughs> so uh, this uh, here is the uh, dial you can set for uh, um, the peak hold and you can just switch in here on the on the peak hold and you get your uh, VSWR and your, your power and anything up to 5 kilowatt and uh, what I love about this is it's so good when work when you work it with an amplifier because it's got all kinds of different alarms on it and uh, you can set the range and so forth and uh, you know if your if your VSWR goes up to a certain amount then it will cut cut it out so that you can't uh, blow your radio or uh, blow the amplifier so uh, you know it really does uh, protect the amplifier but um, let me just show you uh, the mini disc recorder the mini disc recorder is uh, a professional mini disc recorder I used it for recording playback and uh, you can see uh, I used it last to uh, record my friend M5 LRO Chris up in uh, Kent in Rot Rochester Kent and um, does a great job really records the audio really well and I can also uh, reroute that uh, recording through to the mixer and then play it back over the air or send it uh, to the computer and send it out via uh, the internet so uh, pretty uh, pretty neat bit of equipment the uh, the radio here is a, a, a Kenwood 710 uh, not had it long and uh, usually uh, keep that in the uh, in the um, the van got a van outside on the driveway I usually slot that into the the top dash and uh, so I got my uh, dual band uh, two meters and seventy cents radio in the uh, in the van and so when I'm mobile using uh, hands free kit etc I've got uh, three monitors to the shack and uh, they can all be uh, switched into uh, whatever I want I can uh, use the uh, this is plugged into the 7800 but uh, I can always have that here or I can drop and change them because I've got a switcher box that allows me to put uh, any uh, any source to any monitor sort of thing this is my uh, logging program and uh, you might have seen one of my uh, older videos I love using NGEN log great logging program so uh, if you'd like more information about NGEN log and what it's capable of basically it's a really good logging program it connects you to uh, QRZ and so forth so when you enter in the course when it comes up with the, the QRZ info and uh, the beam heading etc it also connects to the rotor so uh, you're just typing in the course sign and your rotor will automatically uh, change direction without you uh, having to do that so it's a very very good uh, good logging program one I've been using for quite a while now and you've got the, you got the cluster here which is great just clicking on any of those links will, uh, will change the radio the, uh, the radio is also connected to the uh, uh, the logging program is connected at the moment to the, uh, the 7800 so it's pretty good and it works with both the main and sub receiver so it's very very good here on this monitor at the moment I've got uh, D-Star and uh, in the shack here let me just show you uh, here uh, you'll see I've got uh, the uh, DVAP dongle and I haven't had it long, I've only had it for about uh, oh, about a week now and it seems to work really well, that's plugged into the computer and uh, if you don't know what DVAP is, basically uh, so you can use D-Star on uh, 2 and 70 the DVAP dongle actually uh, you plug it into your P PC and this is actually a 2 meter uh, re a receiver a transmitter sorry a 2 meter transmitter um, output is about I think it's 10 milliwatts so it's only small power you can this is SMA the antenna 
you can uh, unscrew the antenna and put an external antenna which I'll be doing in the summer and one of the antennas will go out on the, on the tower but, uh, what that basically does it means uh, if you've got a, a D star radio you can actually uh, communicate to the DVAP dongle using your D star radio and then have access to the uh, the uh, D star network let me just show you quickly I don't know if uh, there's anybody on there let me just uh, zoom in a minute okay that's me uh, zoomed in to uh, let me just uh, see if I can um, oh, one second I'm just uh, <laughs> bear with me uh, bear with me guys I'm just um, upping the camera that's better that's better let's uh, let's get it right let's um, just stick that there a minute and see if there's anyone uh, on the D star at the moment let's uh, just uh, go here and press uh, let's uh, go to one of the uh, the reflectors let's uh, go to let's let's connect to yeah one Charlie which is the mega repeater let's have a look let's see if we can uh, get on there Okay, we're linked. Let's uh, have a see if there's anyone on there. Maybe put a call through just so I can give you a quick demonstration on D Star. Uh, G0 SEC listening through one, Charlie. Don't know if there's anyone that's going to come back to me. All depends who's on, I suppose. Uh, G0 Sierra Echo Charlie listening through uh, one Charlie for any calls. Uh, G0 Sierra Echo Charlie. See if anyone uh, does come back to me or not. Golf Zero Sierra Echo Charlie. Golf Zero Lima Golf Foxtrot calling. Yeah, Golf uh, Zero. Uh, oh, I forgot the call sign now. Is it Lima Golf Foxtrot from G Zero Sierra Echo Charlie in the shack here? Uh, actually, doing a YouTube video. <laughs> Done a quick tour of my shack and uh, thought I'd do a a quick demo on D Star. Haven't been on here long myself, so I hope you don't mind me uh, doing the, the video while I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, tripod here so the name is James QTH is Weymouth Weymouth from Dorset uh, G0 I think it's LGF but, but correct me if I'm wrong I'll, I'll pick it up in a minute when I look at the radio from G0 SEC G0 SEC from G0 LGF yeah very good day afternoon to you there James in Weymouth, name this end is Terry, and the QGH is out uh, this way in Norfolk, and you're uh, coming through loud and clear, and fine about the, uh, the YouTube. Yeah, I like looking at the, uh, on the internet myself, and looking at people, uh, what they get up to on YouTube. I like the, I always go on the QRP part of, uh, the radio, and see what errors people make, and how far they get with, the. Uh, Sort of rush poles, antennas, and uh, whatever. But, but that's my local repeater probably now. But uh, yeah, it's all good fun. I do. Uh, that's the best thing I like about the internet is looking at uh, what people like yourself uh, put in there for us all. 